In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a major chord in Finale using the triangle as opposed to having to use the capital M or MAJ. So assuming that you have some music that you want to want to apply a chord symbol to, the first thing you should do is go up here to File and then scroll down and click on Open Library. Now in this window, you want to go to Chord Suffixes and then Chord Suffix Jazz Text and click Open. Now make sure that you have the Chord Tool highlighted and then go over to the note where you want the chord symbol to apply to and double click on that. So in the, chord, the chord definition window, when it pops up, will probably look like this. So the first thing you have to do is click Show Advanced. And when you click Show Advanced, you're given access to the suffix area. And I'll explain what the suffix ID is at the end of this video. But for now, just click Select. Now you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of this window, where you will find the triangle. And so if you only want the triad, this is all you need. You just click Select, OK, and there you have it. But say you want the 7 attached, so it's a C major 7 chord. So we'll do it over here. So we'll click on this note. And this is where you type the, the root. So if it's not C, you type whatever note you want. For now, we'll keep it at C. Then you still go down here to Select. Scroll down to the bottom of this window. Highlight the tri triangle, and instead of hitting select, we want to come over here to duplicate, and then edit. Now, this is the chord suffix editor window, and there's two ways to add the 7. Um, the first way, well first I'll explain, this is where the triangle is, and this is where, how, where our edits will show up. Uh, this is the show handle where you can remove the little box that you can move it around. And the first thing you need to do for both options is to click Next. And then the first way, it is the easiest way, but sometimes the program gets buggy and it doesn't work out right. So I'll show you it anyway. You can check Number, and then you can just type in whatever number you want. So here's 7, or you can delete that and type 9, 13, 11, whatever you want. That's the first way. But as I said, when you get into um, more complex chords, say like a 7, sharp 9, flat 9, flat 13, whatever, it can get buggy, especially when you're using parentheses. So the best way that i found is to keep these unchecked and go here to Symbol, and then you can grab the 7 here. Um, for now, you can note where the sharp sign is, the parentheses, plus symbol, let's scroll down a little bit to get your natural sign, flat sign. But for now we're just going to grab the 7, and click select. And now here's our chord symbol, the triangle and the 7, except it obviously doesn't look quite right. So we can use, click on the handle here to reposition it wherever we want. And if you find something that you like, you can just remember the coordinates here and type it in for future reference. For now, I'm just going to keep it here. Click OK. And here's our new edited chord symbol in the chord suffix selection window. Um, for now, just remember what this number is here. It's 276. That is what the chord suffix ID number is. I'll explain how to use it in a minute. For now, just remember it's 276. So we'll hit Select, OK, and there's our chord symbol. So that's the best way to do it. Now, to use the chord suffix ID, it saves you all that work. You have to do it once, and just remember the number, and you won't have to go through all those steps again. So now, to do it this way, you just need to type your root. You got F. Say we want to put an F major 7 chord there. And now type colon. Colon tells Finale that you're about to use a chord suffix ID. And so once you have the colon, you type in the chord suffix ID. In this case, it's 276. And just hit return. And there you go. It brings up the chord that you created. So that's how you do it. Hopefully that helped. 
and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.